This is a seven story mansion in the Hollywood Hills. To my left is a two story waterfall next to an outdoor pool. There is a lot to see in this brand new construction modern home, especially the views of Los Angeles. So let's get into this one. We are in the outdoor fire pit lounge area and if you take a look up, you can see the curb appeal of this six story modern home. Absolutely gorgeous from the outside. I love the dark tinted railings on every single level with large balconies extending the entire length of the property. So now we're going to give you a full tour as you follow me through the exterior here. So this is the fire pit lounge as I said and as we walk up the concrete steps there is a light on every single step so you can just imagine how that looks at night as well. And this staircase does lead down to the street level and the garage where there also is an elevator so you don't have to walk up all of these steps if you don't want to but if you do want to from the street level you can conveniently go to this fire pit lounge and then head up to the first floor of the property where we have two of the bedrooms and Right in the middle here is the staircase. This pivot door leads to the center staircase that takes us up to every single level. But first follow me to the first bedroom we are showing you guys. Fleetwood accordion doors open up to give you that indoor outdoor flow and you get views of downtown LA from every single room in this house. We're gonna show you some drone shots of that. Spacious bedroom we have here, a door that leads directly to the staircase and there is a full walk-in closet as well as an ensuite bathroom. Take a look at the tile in this bathroom because the details of this home are immaculate. Something you don't see every day, there are gold accents in these V-shaped tile here. Mixes well with the dark stone as well, going up to the ceiling and just a unique bathroom overall. But now follow me directly out of this room. Let me show you what's next door. Floating staircase with this glass railing and a chrome handle. The stairs are built into that wall as well. Next to the stairs, we have your elevator that brings you down to the garage or up to the roof. But as you follow me past the staircase, this is where we have the in-law suite. So check this one out. That includes a full kitchen, modern finishes, quartz countertops, a five burner stove, gold tile in your backsplash. Check that out. If that doesn't look luxurious for your in-law suite, I don't know what does. It mixes well with the white tones of the countertops and then the dark cabinetry and drawer space down below. Very sleek look as there are no handles here up above in your cabinetry. You just open it up very nicely. You can store whatever you need. This is just a perfect area for anyone to live. I don't care who you are, but this is probably enough space for you. We have a nice living room section as well, L-shaped couch, custom wallpaper behind us, and once again, views of downtown Los Angeles and the rest of the city. You look up to built-in speakers and recessed lights throughout the property. Then we have a brand new KitchenAid dishwasher down beneath and a modern fridge and freezer by Fisher and Paykel right here. All right, we're gonna keep moving. This is just the in-law suite. This is the, the standard guest bedroom for your property and the bed is wrapped around this wall to give you a little bit of privacy. Queen size bed right there, more built-in speakers above your bed. And there's also a laundry room here in your bedroom as well as a full ensuite bathroom with the same modern finishes. And you have everything you need in this bedroom from your own laundry room, your own bathroom, your own full kitchen, living area. I mean, what more could you ask for? But now we gotta head upstairs and show you the next level where once again, we run into the elevator and we're just gonna initially walk into our primary suite. This is it guys. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is the glass wall. From your bed, you are just two steps, two feet away from looking at your tub. How convenient is that? You wake up, I mean, how easy is this, guys? You're sleeping, then you wake up, and you wanna take a bath. You take three steps, and then boom, you hop in the tub. How many homes in this price point can you do that? Not many at all. But let's take a look at more of the details here. 
custom wallpaper behind your bed. And I mean, just look at this bed frame. This is something that I feel like I need in my home. A massive, comfy, cushioned bed frame just like this. I don't know the exact price of it, but uh, it's definitely not cheap. We've got several custom light fixtures on both sides of your bed here. More recessed lights, of course. We've got this bright stone surrounding a fireplace. And we've got a unique staggered wall behind the fireplace and a massive TV. That TV is bigger than your tub. Actually, though, I'm not even lying. Check this out. All right, now let's look into the bathroom because there's so much glass in here, you feel like you might run into a wall. So as I said, the tub is next to your bed. So you get views of downtown LA from your tub and from your shower. And you can also see your partner taking a bath and a shower as well, which is interesting. You've got the sliding barn door here to close off the shower as well. More glass, just no privacy in this bedroom. Two large rain shower heads above me, chrome rain shower heads, little shower niches, and then two handheld shower heads, of course. You gotta always have those. These are the top tier ones. And then we've got another custom wall behind me with more gold details, more gold accents. I do like the pattern that we see here. Dark tile, contrasts well once again with these quartz countertops. You've got a waterfall edge here in your floating dual vanity and more of these custom light fixtures hanging above each sink. And now we've got them on so you can see what they look like. But there are also two large mirrors plastered up against the wall right next to each sink, drawer space down beneath, little towel space as well right there. I mean, right next to your tub. This is just one of the best places in all of Los Angeles to lay in a tub, see the views of LA, see the views of the Hollywood Hills, and it's a perfect day out there. Can't wait till we get to that rooftop deck. There's also a walk-in closet that continues on forever. Check this out. This is one of the larger walk-in closets that you'll see in this price range. Dark wood finishes, the smell of the brand new wood just always gets to me. Storage space is endless, but now we gotta head out of this primary suite. Actually, this is also cool. You actually do have a bit of a tint in this glass slider right here. I mean, the other glass sliding doors, there's just no tint, no privacy, but now here you can actually change in piece if you're gonna be in your closet. But then you walk to your tub and you take a bath. But that was everything for this primary suite, once again, we have those Fleetwood accordion doors leading out to a large balcony that extends to our next bedroom that we're gonna show you now. So follow me down this large balcony and every floor has a balcony similar to this, as I said earlier, the dark wood paneling up on the ceiling with more lights as well. But now follow me into this bedroom, which is the smallest bedroom of all four that we're showing you guys. This one does also have an ensuite bathroom with, once again, a floating vanity. You've got a built-in bathtub, motion sensor lights in there. And then behind your bed, we have a custom dark wallpaper, more recessed lights, built-in speakers, everything you need. But we don't have a walk-in closet. We've got your closet in front of your bed. So, I mean, let me know what you think of this bedroom. It does the job. It's got everything. It may not be as extravagant as the primary suite, but... You know, you got a bathroom, you got a closet, you got a tub. Maybe the tub doesn't have the views like you saw in the primary, but you know, you can still take a nice bubble bath in there. So now we have to head back into this hallway and go upstairs because that's where we're gonna find the main kitchen and living area. So we are on not the top floor just yet, but once again, we run directly into the elevator in front of me. To my left, this is the stairwell placed directly in the center of this floor. We're gonna walk all the way around it and head to the kitchen at the very end. We have several light fixtures hanging down from the ceiling with one glass railing so you can still see the views and it just makes this room feel a bit more open when you walk around the entirety. But follow me this way. We have the stack doors open once again. There's a large floor to ceiling window looking directly at the hills, your neighbors. These are the views. I mean, what more do you have than views in this house? I'm gonna keep talking about the views, views, views. The balcony extends the entire length of this floor. You've got a couple wall sconces up here on the exterior, on that stucco. And we are very high up now from where we were in the beginning above that fire pit lounge. So you keep getting higher and higher until we reach that seventh level technically. Back inside, let's show you the formal living room where we have dark stones surrounding a fireplace and a large flat screen TV up above. These flat screen TVs in this home are honestly bigger than some of the TVs we've seen in 20, 30 million dollar houses. And I'm honestly a fan of that, but who needs a TV when your TV is the views of Los Angeles? Nothing can really beat these views on a day like today. 
But keep following me past the living room area. Once again, there is another staircase, floating staircase, that leads up to the pool with a waterfall that we showed you in the intro there. Now just wait to see that because I'm excited to get back up there. Underneath the floating staircase, we have a wine wall where you can see several bottles of wine up against the wall. That's why we're gonna call it a wine wall underneath the floating stairs. And I do like how we have a glass wall separating where your wine bottles are so you can conveniently see it easily from anywhere on this floor. And when you're grabbing a bottle of wine, you can see those views, of course. Right next to that, we have a powder room. So this entire home is very custom. You can see the copper tones on the wallpaper in here, the three hanging down light fixtures, and then these bulged out tile here up against the wall. That is unique. Copper tones, once again, fits the nice theme of this powder room in general. And you have a floating vanity that matches the finishes from the rest of the bathrooms. But that powder room location is right next to where our kitchen is. There's also a little laundry room or a door that leads into where your washer and dryer are right next to everything. Everything is just conveniently placed all together here in this home. Now I gotta talk about this ultra modern kitchen because the first thing you're gonna notice is this island. Check out the abstract look of this island, how it slopes diagonally, it extends out a bit, and then it narrows to the very end. This is not just your typical rectangular island. They put a lot of thought and detail into the entirety of it. Even the slope here on the countertops isn't a direct straight line. It's not vertical. It perfectly flows right down with the dark base here below. And on top of it, We've got a five burner Thermador gas stove and you can see the vent up above on this large drop down ceiling. LED lights there above the drop down ceiling to add some depth to the lighting in this kitchen. Then we've got Thermador ovens, dual ovens right there with all of the, the buttons right there up above. And so overall a sleek look to the cabinetry and the pantry space. You've got hidden handles throughout and then the fridge and freezer do separate the dual ovens there in the center. So this is where your freezer is, already packed and stocked with ice cream. I mean, I've never seen that in a house. I think I've done 300 of these on this channel and we've never seen ice cream in a freezer. We're gonna have to run that up a little bit later. Just do not tell the owner, do not leave a comment about the ice cream, please don't. All right, and then the fridge right next to the dual ovens as well. More pantry space, more storage space right next to that. It is symmetrical to both sides this entire wall here in your kitchen. One last look at that center island because I mean, it's just probably the narrowest island we've ever seen as well. Look at how thin it is, but you still have a good amount of countertop space here on the left side next to the large sink with the gold fixtures and then countertop space between the stove and on the right side as well. Recessed lights are up on that drop down ceiling also. But then next to our kitchen, we finally arrived to where you're gonna be eating the food after you cook it there in that modern kitchen. And that would be in your formal dining room. We have two rows of hanging down light fixtures, the same ones that we saw there in that stairwell in the very center. Dining area, you can see eight people. On the opposite of the dining table, we have a gallery wall. And the dining area might have the best views of the entire house because you are on one of the highest floors, the fifth floor, I believe. And then you can see downtown LA from all the way up here very easily. One last thing I did want to point out. So you know that the elevator is behind this gallery wall, but look at this little nook where we have a floor to ceiling window that looks out to your balcony on the right. You can see views obviously, but on the left side, we have another floor to ceiling window that actually is what your elevator would, this is where your elevator would be. So you can see the views from inside your elevator as well. They thought of everything in this house when it comes to direct views of Los Angeles from any point, which is nice. But now we've got to go upstairs because I need to show you the pool and the waterfall. So follow me up there. Up on the sixth floor, I can already hear the waterfall behind me and you can see it right there where we have the pool. We're not gonna start out there just yet. We're gonna start in here, give you a brief look overall at this area and then I'm gonna talk about it here. We've got the glass railing once again where our floating staircase is and on this side we have a full bathroom, glass shower, dark finishes in there, modern look to your vanity and a pretty unique faucet as well on your sink. But now back here in this living area, more dark finishes in these countertops. We've got dual wine refrigerators down beneath and each wine fridge has two doors. 
So technically four wine fridges. I mean, that makes sense. This is cool though. You can open up both of them and just have unlimited bottles of wine. Also, you know that wine wall is directly below us underneath that staircase. So if your wine is not too cold, you can bring it up here, easily put it in that wine fridge. Up above, three glass shelves with a custom backsplash there where you can display more bottles of wine. I mean, this home is made for a wine connoisseur if you already didn't know that, which is nice. I love these large, shiny, sleek blocks of stone to both sides as well. It gives it more of a luxury feel. And then let me show you this side first before we go out to that balcony where we have another living section right next to the pool and the jacuzzi, flat screen TV up above, bright stone surrounds a fireplace, and then more custom tile there on your wall going up to the ceiling surrounding that fireplace as well. Speaking of a fireplace, we got a fire pit as we head outside. Southern California vibes here, guys. I mean, it's not windy at all. There's not a cloud in the sky. Really doesn't get much better than this. Now this is nice. This is where you're gonna come and you're gonna meditate. You're gonna, you can hear the sounds of the waterfall flowing down right now. You guys probably can't hear it just yet, but you will in a second. So if you've got an outdoor fire pit lounge, once again, you got one up here on your sixth floor. You got one all the way down on the bottom floor as well. And then right here, we're next to those views. This one is a bit higher up, but you're way more private as well because we're on our own property. Maybe people can see you from the street in that fire pit lounge downstairs. But now we just need someone to come over and bring us some s'mores so we can just cook them and hang out right here. Have a great day. I am a big fan of this house, honestly. I wish I could have taken the elevator up here because those stairs could get exhausting sometimes, but I understand how it goes. We're gonna show you the rest of this balcony though. We've got the dark tinted glass railing that extends the entire length. This balcony is obviously much wider than all of the other ones that we've seen. There's enough space for outdoor dining right next to your brand new barbecue grill. More dark finishes and features here in our outdoor kitchen space. Built-in refrigerators down beneath by Magic Chef. Sleek countertops. We do have a gas burner as well right next to your sink. And that's everything. You got a full outdoor kitchen with these views here on our sixth floor of this modern property. I don't even want to leave this space, but we're going to show you something a little bit cooler. And finally, that is that pool. And here we are. This is our sixth floor pool. These are the steps to get in right next to that door. There are also large oversized windows that you can see into the home and all the way through the house actually and towards the views of downtown LA. But follow me on these floating concrete steps as we walk alongside our pool now. You've got the waterfall to the left of me and a second level to that waterfall up above. This is just immaculate, guys. You don't see this often. And this is such a nice private area. I mean, can you hear the water droplets? I'm sure you can because some of the water is hitting my mic right now. And then we've got the lights that are changing colors down beneath those pool lights. So we're gonna show you some nice shots of that at night. But follow me alongside your pool. We've got a little jacuzzi area with the sliders open once again, those accordion stack doors actually. And you can look more into those views once again, obviously. The look of the waterfall is modern as well as we have more of the dark stone that we've been seeing throughout the interior of the house. Now on the exterior and on that second level of your waterfall up above, we're gonna show you a good view of this from the seventh floor as well. Behind me is a spiral staircase that leads to that seventh floor. There's also a staircase on the opposite side of this sixth level that leads to the bottom floor and the, the in-law suite. So you don't have to walk through the interior of the house to come up here if you're living in that in-law suite or if you're arriving from the ground level as well. But now it's time to show you the rooftop deck. We're gonna find a hot tub up here on our rooftop deck. So if you thought that jacuzzi was a little boring down beneath us, we have an above ground hot tub with even better views on the seventh floor. How many homes have seven floors here in the Hollywood Hills? Uh, not too many, maybe a few, but not many as new as this one with views just like this. So behind me, now we're getting a great look at the stacked waterfall right next to me and the pool down beneath us as well. You can still hear the waterfall and the water just dropping down. I do like the landscaping we can see on the right side of the waterfall with the rocks down beneath it. And we are just very private up here on our top floor of the home. Once again, another fire pit lounge. That would make uh, three fire pit lounges throughout the home. 
outdoor fire pit lounges that is. But now we are on the top floor. So, I mean, just let me know in the comments which one you would like to hang out at and cook s'mores in. Maybe the one right next to the hot tub. And then we get the views once again. We're overlooking that large balcony, glass railings, of course. And then maybe my favorite part of the entire rooftop deck here, not the hot tub, but you have a built-in sauna here. You can definitely fit two people in there pretty comfortably. And there's also a staircase that leads down to the wide balcony directly below us. But we've showed you it all in this seven story modern home here in the Hollywood Hills. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you haven't hit the like button already. Also subscribe, we're posting videos just like this every single week on the channel. I mean, check out the views of downtown LA, the Hollywood Hills. It's a perfect day, not a cloud in the sky. Let me know what your favorite part of this home was also in the comments below. Mine has to be this rooftop deck, specifically the jacuzzi, the sauna, and then just the vibes you're getting of the waterfall directly in front of me. And these views, it's tough to beat it. And I appreciate you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.